Hello and welcome to my channel. So today I'm doing this very steampunk-esque clock makeup. I was inspired by the fact that the clocks are changing this weekend. I've not done a steampunk makeup look so I'm very excited for this one. Let me know what you think. If you would like to see how I created this makeup look, then please keep watching. So I've already put on my base and then I get these eyeshadow guards that I got from Primark and place them around my eye to create the circle for the clock. And I then get my airbrush gun and get a yellow paint in that and start to apply it around the outside of the guards. And I also get an orange as well and I apply this closer to the edge of the guard to create a little bit of a gradient. I then peel off the guards and get these Roman letters that I got off of Amazon and they already had a sticker base to them. You can get them to create your own clock basically and I start to place them around inside that circle that we've created. Obviously in the right order. Thankfully I had this clock in the background to help me. I then get a brown eyeshadow and start to blend it around the border of the circle that we've created just to make it a bit more strong. I then fill with my brows using my Anastasia Beverly here a dip brow and I prime my eyes with the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly. The eyeshadow palette that I use for this tutorial is the Urban Decay Born to Run palette and I use the warmer brownie tones in that palette. I start off with the shade Barja. I am going to butcher these names so do not kill me and I apply that into the crease and really really blend it out. I then apply Punk to my lid and also my bottom lash line and I do actually smoke it out into a wing on my bottom lash line as well as I create a winged eyeliner using the Kylie Cosmetics Glitter Eyes in the shade Witch and Famous. I apply some yellow and orangey face paints to my neck and shoulders and then I get these little metal cogs that I got off of Amazon and start to stick them all over my body using eyelash glue. I also had these clock hands as well that were made from metal and I glued them to my face as well. Using that punk eyeshadow that we used earlier I start to blend out some lines going down from my bottom lash line on the eye with the clock around it. I then apply some eyelashes and also line my waterline with a black eyeliner. Moving on to my lips, I line them with a nude lip liner and firstly use an orange lipstick before going into a brown lipstick that I put over it to kind of dull it down a little bit. But I do keep the centre quite orange as I'm creating an ombre lip. The last colour that I use in my ombre lip is a really really dark brown, almost black, and I apply this super super lightly on the outer edges of my lips and then I tap them out out with my finger. So this is the finished makeup look. I got these little cogs off of Amazon or eBay. I'll try and link them in the description down below. Also these clock hands that I have in my hair and on my face as well from Amazon and as well as the stickers. Let me know what you think about this makeup look in the comments down below and if you did like it hit the thumbs up button because it really does help me out. If you like seeing more crazy style makeup looks then make sure to hit the subscribe button. Thank you so so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!